Hey guys, Ben here. In today's video, I should be unboxing another Adeptus Mechanicus mod uh, kit. This time it's the Electro Priest slash uh, the Vulgarite Electro Priests. That's right. Yep. So uh, one of them has the staves, and the other one has um, like these fist shooting weapons. Them ones there. But uh, you can see my reflection. Hello. So as you can see, twenty-five pound from GW. Probably a bit cheaper. But uh, these guys, I think they look pretty cool anyway, but um, they're, they're pretty handy, I mean they're good close combat units. I mean I believe on the staffs they actually do, if we get sixes they deal mortal wounds and whatnot. Well, uh, I have to go over the road before I build them and see which ones I want. But um, I really like the paint scheme on the back of these, I mean. Uh, He's been very he's been very ill in Storm Rage with his with his blindfolds. But I really like the uh, the paint. Like the the contrast of the white skin and the red cloaks. Okay, open these up. Um, booklets hidden way down bottom. So as always we'll go through the instructions first. So you got your your Vulgarite Electro Priest and your Cocorpus Kari? Car I don't know. I'm going to try to pronounce them again, but. Nice construction booklet. Looks like we're relatively easy to do. Yeah, and that's it, and that's the old, uh, that's the older rules there. Here's the ones for the uh, the other guys with the fist weapons. And there's their rules. And that's for seventh edition, obviously. So uh, it'll be in Imperium Index Imperium Two where the uh, current rules are. So here's the sprues themselves. Guy in his robes, got his staffs. They're like backpack sort of thing, if you go on the sort of shop in the back, it's must be like power generators or something like that. Lots of cabling, that's a load of cabling. But that part must go on there. And I think this sprue is almost identical, but not quite. Have some like I'll reach hands. Sorry about the lighting, guys. It's a really cloudy day, you know, a muggy, horrible day. So I'm trying my best with lighting. But you know me, I want to get these guys built, so I can't hold. I'm really bad for it. And then you get 32 more bases, which in there, five of. So I'm going to get these guys built now. Let you know how, how well they're built, what they look like, and um, what you and I decide to build at first and why. So, I shall see you in a second. So as you can see guys, the contents of the box have been fully assembled and are now complete ready for painting. So, I went with the Vulgarite Electro Priest, um, simply because, yeah they are a bit more expensive at 4 power points compared to the uh, the Cor Corpus Kyrie ones, which are 3, but I was like the look of them, I mean, the staffs, I mean, the plus, the plus 2 strength, minus 2 AP, and the D3 damage which is nice itself, but on a wound roll of 6 plus the attacks of D3 mortal wounds instead of normal damage which is very nice, I mean they have 2 attacks each so you're doing, you're not, it's 10 attacks coming from them you might get 1 or 2 sixes. but um, these guys are super 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 easy to build I mean it took me about 20 minutes to build all 5 which is in the grand scheme of things is nothing, it's really really quick but they look they're really nice models. I mean, I like the look of them. A lot of people don't, but I like the way they look. I mean, the only regret I've got with the kit is that the sprue um, to hold this did the stuff in. The sprue is right there, and with it held because obviously we've been a cog design. It's really dodgy to get out without messing it up. I mean, I have messed up on a few, but you don't really notice when it's painted. But I really like these guys. I mean. 
they're all blindfolded, very ill and stone rage. Monk sort of thing. I mean, I don't know what the, the law is behind these, but it seems like either all of them are blind, or like there must be some sort of reason in the law for whatever. Same with the sprue there, I mean, I'll have to clean it up later, but there you go. Here's one, like, pointing away. The only real downside with um, with these is that there isn't really much, you can't really customise them too well. Simply because how the cables are and um, at the heads, I mean, you can't see it too well there. It's um, very specific, I mean, you have to position it in such a, in such a way. So that's the real downside I can see to them, but... Besides from that, these are really easy models to assemble. They're on the 30, oops, they're on the 32 mil bases, but um, so they're a bit bigger than the uh, like your Rangers and whatnot. I mean, there you go. But he's like giving the fist to somebody, proper. He ain't gonna make uh, him no more, whatever. This one likes jumping out my hands. And there's this guy. I think this one might be my favourite because it's just the most like, standard one. Looks like he's ready to uh, do some whirlwind attack, kind of. Like a bow staff, but start spinning it around. But the unit themselves, I mean, they're cheap, cheap and cheerful. They're an elite slot, so you're not taking up your precious heavy support or anything like that. And, um,. They also get a 5 plus in vulnerable save, which I personally think is excellent. But the, 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 they both share the Voltergeist field, which all models in this unit have a 5 plus in vulnerable save. When this unit completes a charge move, pick one of the target units you charge and roll D6 for each model in the charged unit. Any rolls with 6 you inflict a mortal wound on the unit picks. So, you want these guys in combat anyway, so when you are charging, you. Um, you, you roll d6 for the amount of models in the unit. Like you pick a unit and then it says, like, I don't know, 10 models in that unit. You roll 10 dice. Any um, any sixes deals an automatic mortal wound to the, to, to the unit. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's excellent. I mean, you can't go wrong. They also have something called Siphon Vigor, which basically, if, if this unit wipes out an enemy unit in the fight phase, which... You just launch these guys at really weak units, like scout squads or whatever. Um, their invulnerable saves increase to 3 plus for, for the rest of the battle. So they, these guys have a 3 plus invulnerable save if they wipe out a unit. Just go kill some grots or something. I mean, yeah, they have 6 plus invulnerable save, so you're never going to be using your save. You're always going to use your invul. And they'll have a wound apiece. But for 4 power points, get 10 of these guys and just throw them at weak units and get a 3 plus invul. They'll be dealing a lot of damage, depending on how you roll with your mortal wounds. It's just excellent, and they also have um, fair fanatical devotion. Each time a model in this unit so loses a wound, roll a d6, and roll a 5 or 6, the model, the model does not lose that wound. So, I don't know whether that counts for mortal wounds, like in the same way to um, Disgustingly Resilient, but... These guys are quite durable. If you get if you look at your rolls, they are quite durable. I mean the start line is mediocre. I mean they're hitting on threes and like weapon skill three plus, which is good. But they only strength and toughness three, so they are strength five and never wound piece. But they do have like your five plus invulnerable save which gets increased to a three plus invulnerable save if they kill you in it. And um, on a roll of five or six, they get the wound back. They don't lose the wound. So and obviously you have your canticles of the Omnissiah as well, which you could use to further buff these. So, personally, I really like this unit. I haven't played with it yet, but hopefully in days to come, there'll be a battle on which I get to try these out, and I'll be doing reviewing them then. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. As I said in one of the previous videos, there is more Admech stuff coming up. So, uh, if you like your Skatari, your Adeptus Mechanicus, and uh, stick around and uh, hopefully you enjoy the videos. So thanks very much and I'll see you next time.